so can you pay here and now or late? No, that's a lot we of money. We don't have that money on us. I do. Passport, please. Today we're in Budapest, Hungary and we are doing an Hungarian food tour and together with that we're doing a bit of sightseeing as well. So join us as we explore this beautiful city for the very first time. We are Sarah and Murray. In October 2020 we left our home country of South Africa and set out to see the world using budget travel strategies to make our travels last as long as possible. From working on a traditional winery in Georgia, to a sailboat in Turkey, to attempting to hitchhike over 1,800 kilometers in four days, our budget travels have by no means been boring or uneventful. We can't wait to see what's next. Our first stop of the day is both a food stop and a sightseeing tour all in one. This is the Great Market Hall. Oops. <laughs> Your turn. This market was built in 1897, it's the biggest market in Budapest and there are three floors. We've also been seeing so many stunning Hungarian souvenirs. Come on, just found the first dish. This looks amazing. Before I even get started, I'm going to apologize because we're probably going to mispronounce everything we eat today. This is the classic Hungarian langos, which is basically a deep fried flatbread with all these incredible toppings. We've got tomato, cucumber, salami, cheese, peppers, all sorts of herbs. I'm so excited. Trying my best over here with these little plastic utensils. Try and get a couple of things on here. Some cheese, some onion. Really loading that little fork. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I need a minute. Oh, so, so good. This is delicious and a very good start today. I love the contrast between the soft, gooey texture of the flatbread and then the crisp and crunchy ingredients that are on top. Very, very nice. It doesn't look that complicated. It's pretty simple, but it's just so good. So many flavors packed together and they really go well. It's really, really good. <laughs> I'm struggling. <laughs> it's difficult. This is a big yeah. one. Oh no, this is a big one. <laughs> You see what I mean? It sort of like takes your words away. For me it did. It's just simple, good ingredients. It's like very simple on its own, but together it's just, it's amazing. There's no other way to describe it. It is very, very good. That was such a good start to the day. That portion was huge and we're feeling so full already. But we've got quite a bit of walking today, so no complaints from us. <laughs> that is really a nice place to come and see. If you're coming to Budapest, you really must put it on your list. There's really nice Hungarian food available, lots of different options, beautiful souvenirs, a really, really nice place to come and explore. But on to the next place. we are so excited for today is because we're actually using a new route planning app now we've never made use of one of these things before and like in the past all we've done is okay we finished with the re this restaurant where are we going to next i don't know let's quickly research whereas now this app that we're using called route for me we've just typed in all of the places that we want to get to and it's given us a very nice logical flow and a nice logical route to get around the city but unfortunately because we started so early today Literally everything is still closed. But that's okay. We're gonna head out to our second sighting spot for the day.
recently is that Budapest is actually split into two parts by the Danube River. The one side is called Buda and the other side is called Pest. And we've actually just arrived at a cute little island in the middle of the river in the middle of the two parts of the city called Margaret Island. It's basically a giant park. <laughs> There's a zoo here, there's a running track, there's jogging paths. It's a place to come and escape the city while still being in the city and find yourself surrounded by nature. See, if you're looking to come and fly a drone here on Margaret Island, just don't even try. Just don't. That was the worst drone flying experience I've ever had. The amount of times I nearly lost that drone there was ridiculous. But nothing against Budapest though, I think it was just the area that we're in. That was crazy. <laughs> At least you got some cool shots and I literally found a leaf that is larger than my face. Look at how big this thing is! It's huge! Gosh. on the Pest side of the city and we've just come across to the Buddha side. We have completely left the city far behind us. We are now 20 minutes outside of the city. But this next place comes highly recommended. So we definitely had to come and check it out. I didn't even realize we were coming to such a gem of a restaurant. This is a family owned, family run restaurant. And I just have to read you guys the story of the guy who started it. I began life as a sailor. This story is really heartwarming, but unfortunately it's a bit long. So if you're interested, we'll leave it in the description below. Our next meal of the day is, now just forgive me, I'm going to mispronounce this horribly, but this is the best way that I understood the waiter, Bodia Perko, which is basically a veal stew with a little bit of sour cream and egg noodle dumplings. It looks amazing. And they've been eating this in Hungary since as early as the 1780s. Hmm. A little bit of meat in there. A little bit of the egg noodles. Ready. Oh my goodness, just one second. <laughs> Where is it? Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> the best way that I can describe this is home cooking. You can see the plate, it's not fancy at all. It is just, it's there and it's ready for you to eat. It is warm, it is rich, it is comforting. The veal stew is just dark and rich and it's got like an almost tomato flavor. The meat is just falling apart. You don't even feel it when you bite into it. These egg noodles as well are just soft and succulent. It's just, it's a very good dish. Oh, I didn't even get the sour cream before. Oh goodness me. Mm. That's a 10 out of 10. Perfect. You can taste that the veal is a bit different. Like it doesn't taste like normal beef, obviously. I've never actually had it's veal really before. It's really good. It's really good. I love these textures <clears throat> together. Mm. Very, very nice. It looks like it's pretty late already but it is actually only two o'clock. Funny story, when we were on the bus the other day from Miskolc to Polka to Budapest, Marek started freaking out because it was half past four and the sun was setting. And he was saying, oh my gosh, the sun's setting a whole hour earlier because the day before it had set at half past five. And later we realized that daylight savings had actually kicked in and the time had changed. So it's an hour earlier than it would have been and it's a little bit disorientating <laughs> i won't lie <laughs> which is actually bad news for us because we've got three items that we still want to eat today it's now two o'clock which means that we have two hours of sunset left sunset <laughs> oh, sun left. Or sun, yeah. <laughs> we need a motor <laughs> oh wait we forgot to mention that was actually really really good that food was so nice we've never had veal before so it was a really nice introduction into that sort of cuisine but now, we really do need to mind.
Dan nou de rug, maar de rug is rug. So, can you play here and now or later? No, that's a lot of money. We don't have that money on us. I do. Passport, please. Getting good at yes, this day is turning out way too expensive. We just got fined eight thousand Hungarian farms each, sixteen thousand. That's a lot of money. <laughs> but the most messed up part about it is not even like we were trying to ride the metro for free. I had bought the tickets, I just forgot to validate the tickets. So I was there standing with the tickets. I was like, listen here, we bought oh. the tickets. We just didn't validate them. <laughs> and we still got fined. I think that's the most messed up part. We weren't even trying to get away with it, like trying to ride for free. Uh, we bought the tickets. <laughs> okay, so now we need to decide what we're doing with the rest of the day. I personally feel like if we just decided to stop the day now, I would feel worse about what just happened. Basically, the day was already quite expensive and that obviously made it much worse so now we need to decide are we going to carry on and obviously spend more money on the rest of the food items that we planned on trying today or do we just call it quits here and go back to our accommodation so if it is up to me i'd honestly just pack up and go now because then at least we're not spending any more money but this is our last day in hungary we are leaving to Croatia tomorrow and if we had to just end it right now we would end with a pretty bad taste in our mouths almost and even on a not a very good note and if we just had to go back now we'd go back to our hostel and just constantly be thinking about the whole situation whereas if we just carried on we can taste more yummy eat food, some nice food and at and least end off the day on a good note end of our time in Hungary on a good night. I think we should carry on. Let's go get some cake. Yay! is called Dobosh Tort and it originated in 1885. What's really interesting about this cake is at the time the taste and technology was unknown. So what we know as buttercream today was actually used for the very first time in this cake. Oh, it's really hard. This is hard. How do you eat it? It's like almost like chocolatey mousse, these chocolate layers, and then the sponge cake layers are quite dense. It's a really interesting combination. I really want to try this though, and I don't know how to. I might have to take it off like that. This is caramel, hardened caramel. Very nice and sweet. I just wish I could get them together. <laughs> It's like a crunchy but soft caramel at the same time. The bottom is like sponge almost, it looks like sponge, but the top is a hardened candied caramel. That's possibly one of the best cakes I've ever tasted. Really? You like it that much? It is all done. <laughs> Except for that tiny little piece on your lip. <laughs> oh <boy. laughs> One treat down, another one to go. And it might surprise you to find out that the next dessert or treat is actually from Hungary. If you struggle to find this one, you can literally follow your nose. The smell is incredible and it travels really far. to street lights because the sun is completely gone now. 
So if you've traveled in Europe, you've probably seen, maybe even tasted one of these. We've tasted these in Georgia, in Poland, in Czech Republic, in Slovakia, but we haven't tasted them here in Hungary where they actually originated. This is called a Kurtus Kalax. Probably said that horribly wrong. In English, it's a chimney cake. And there's nothing really complicated about it. It's basically a piece of sweet dough that is wrapped around some wood, cooked in an oven, then they add flavorings to it, and then they put it back in the oven for another cooking session. But it's just really good. It's just really good. We went with almond flavor, and I'm really excited to try it. They're really sweet, but they're just, they're good. They're so good. Didn't disappoint. <laughs> it's just good. It's just good. <laughs> Sweet. It's a piece of cake with some sugar on the outside with some almonds. It's just good. <laughs> and you can smell it everywhere. Yeah. It just hits you. Poof. In the nostrils. You just smell chimney cake this way. <laughs> It looks so majestic, we're busy sitting at the moment, but if you look at what we're actually busy looking at, we're literally sitting outside a car park. <laughs> <laughs> the lad's good here though. <laughs> so as hard as it is to say, this is where we unfortunately are going to have to call it for today. But we are really excited because tomorrow, as we mentioned earlier, we're heading to Croatia. And in a few days time, we're heading to a workway in Croatia, one that we applied to months and months and months ago and can't actually believe that we've got in. Now we don't want to get our expectations too high because we've done that in the past and we've been sorely disappointed. <laughs> but this place looks like it is going to be incredible. But that's all I'm going to say about it. Thank you so much for joining us on this video. Please do smash this button and this button and we'll see you in the next one. Recording. Our first stop of the day is both a food stop and a sightseeing. 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 Okay, three things. This market was built in 19... Oh. That symbol right there, that's what we like to see. <laughs>